click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Imam Jawad is the ninth Imam of the Shia Muslims. At the age of eight, he was appointed Imam after the martyrdom of his father. From the beginning of his Imama, he was used to attending the debates with scholars of his time and answering their hard and difficult questions. Mamun Abbasi, who was aware of his divine knowledge and status, wanted to keep a close eye on him. So, he married his daughter to the Imam, and this is the reason some of his courtiers got confused and asked, O oh, Commander of the Faithful, how did you decide to marry your daughter to Imam Raza's son? We are afraid that because of him this kingdom, which God has given us will be taken away from us. Is this your personal view or does it belong to all the people of Bani Abbas? This is the opinion of most people of Bani Abbas, and we think you're worried about that too. Because there has been enmity between us and the sons of Abu Talib since ancient times and we have had a dream ever since you made Imam Raza the crown prince, but God saved us from him. The enmity that has existed between us and the sons of Abu Talib since ancient times was the fault of our own elders. But Jawad, whom I respect so much, is because of his knowledge and virtue. That in such a small age he has superiority over the wise. The young man you admire so much is actually a child who has no understanding whatsoever. Shut up. I know this young man very well. If you wish, you can also test his wisdom so that my point may be proved to you. We accept but let there be a great gathering in which great scholars are invited and they ask him questions on different topics. If he answers their questions then your point will be proved and then we will accept your decision. Ma'mun accepted his advice and a meeting was arranged in which the judge of the city, whose name was Yahya, and other scholars were gathered. The idea was to show Imam Jawad incompetent when these scholars will ask difficult and tricky questions from the Imam, who was only eight years old, in front of Ma'mun and the audience. But they were unaware that God is the protector and saviour of his servants and the light of the Ahlul Bayt can never be extinguished. Does the Caliph allow me to ask Imam Jawad some questions? Ask permission from Imam Jawad himself. If he gives you permission, I don't mind. O oh son of Holy Prophet, do you allow me to ask some questions from you? Ask whatever you want. What is the ruling on a person who is in Aram hunting in Makkah? Did the person who was the hunter know about this ruling, or was he unaware of it? And did he deliberately or accidentally do what he did? Was this hunter a free man or a slave? Was he older or younger? And did he hunt a bird or some other animal? Was the victim small or big? And did he regret his action after doing what he had hunted? And when was the hunter hunting, during the day or at night? And the arm he wore was for Omar or for Hajj? When Yahya heard of the complexities of the problem, he was amazed and realized how many branches a problem could have. And the answers to all these are with Imam Jawad. But he himself is unaware of them. His incompetence was exposed in front of all the audience. Now you people understand that you were objecting to me without thinking. Imam Jawad, if you want, you can also ask questions. 
Yahya, may I ask you a question? Sure, but if I know the answer, I will tell you. Otherwise, I will learn from your knowledge. Can you tell me that if a man marries a woman at the beginning of the day, it is forbidden and if he marries after a short time, it is allowed? And then if he gets married at noon, it will be forbidden. It is again allowed at the time of Asr, and gets forbidden if he marries at sunset, and it is again allowed if it is performed at night. And if he looks at her in the middle of the night, it will be forbidden, but if he marries her at Fajr, it will be allowed. How can these men and women become allowed and forbidden to each other again and again? Is there anyone who can answer this question? I swear to God I don't know the answer to this problem. If you answer it, we will all know. This woman is a slave girl. It is forbidden for a person to look at an Ammayarim at the beginning of the day, and if he buys her from her master after some time, it is allowed to look at her. Then if this man releases the slave, he will not be allowed to look at the woman, but if he marries her after Asr, then it is allowed to look at her, and if he makes Zahar in the evening, it is forbidden to look at her. But if he pays the penalty of Zahar at night, then it is allowed to look at her, but if he divorces her in the middle of the night, then it is forbidden to look at her, and if he withdraws his divorce at dawn, then she will be his wife. By God, we can never get as much knowledge as the son of Imam Reza. So what do you all think? The Al Al Bayt have entered this world with purity, knowledge, grace and perfection. For them, childhood and age does not matter. Don't you know that the young Ali ibn Abi Talib was the first to swear allegiance to the Holy Prophet and accept Islam? God has special blessings on this family. In this way, the light of Imamat and Wilaya illuminated from the young Imam Jawad that no friend or foe was able to hide it.